think what we're trying to do is come full circle back to where we were 20 years ago, where nutrition was a key part of agriculture. We also see at the international level that there's this increasing recognition that nutrition needs to be linked very closely with agriculture. There's not one single simple tool that can make agriculture and nutrition work better together but rather a series of related actions that all of us working in rural and agricultural development must take. These include empowering women, increasing knowledge about nutrition and diet, addressing the underlying causes of food spoilage and waste, investing in more diversified food systems, and of course, working in partnership. First, I think we need to look at how do we build more demand for nutritious foods. The second thing is how can we insert nutrition at different places along the value chain. Where I am baffled is that we never seem to put on the table during these discussions one of the interventions that does indeed have an evidence base and that has greatly contributed to controlling vitamin and mineral deficiencies in North and Central America and Western Europe, uh, large-scale food fortification. The central processing, as Mark pointed out, uh, of foods is indeed part of the value chain and that we should deploy the tool of large-scale food fortification when we have the opportunity. I walked into the office of a director of agriculture and I wanted to talk to him about nutrition in agriculture. He said, oh, no, 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 we do crops. We don't do nutrition here. How do we drive these kinds of conversations that don't include us across the global community to ensure that the people at country level are truly getting the benefit of the knowledge that comes out of rooms like these? That's a challenge we all need to embrace and bring the voices of the people we claim to represent into this conversation. Mandela often told us the issue and the politics of it, the issue of fighting poverty and hunger, is not an issue of charity. It is an issue of human rights and justice. So thank you very much. <laughs>